This is not the typical Hollywood set that you can find here in Australia. This is not a movie. This is not a Hollywood area. But this is a place during the old time, 18th century, old past years of Australian living. This is currently what we have here. Welcome to the Australian Pioneer Village guys. So this is a very nostalgic place because this is where um, Australia has started. I mean during the 17th to the 18th century. So this is one of the third um, colonial states or colonial area that has been preserved for long long years like hundred more than 100 years ago so basically this is seated in the little township of Wilberforce it is one of the five Macquarie towns here which was first settled in the 1794 and it's also situated a five kilometers from historic Windsor formerly called Green Hills this village is not a reproduction of an early buildings but a street full of authentic dwellings shops and other historic buildings and also just so nostalgic to be here so this has been preserved for a long long years now and of course definitely if you are traveling here to Wilberforce then it would be fantastic for you to visit and enjoy the beauty of the Australian history and also get to know the Australian story itself definitely so fascinating to see in real life and you also get a chance and really feel the authentic of those houses So if ever you're planning to travel here to visit the Pioneer Village, then it's easier for you to get a train all the way from Central Stations then all the way to Windsor Station. So it will take you a bit, probably an hour and a half um, train ride from the city of Sydney and it's just easier for you to do that and then by the time you get here there are buses that are actually here and when you get off the stations all you have to do is just cross the road here and then once you cross the road there's the bus stations in there so it's just so easy for you to travel on this time and then it gets you there to the pioneer village or if you are keen to drive then it's more easier So when you get here to Wilberforce, you'll be greeted by a name called Australiana Pioneer Village and the entrance fee is actually $10 so it's very affordable and of course the entrance fees are also range from adult to children and yeah so everyone has a place here in this area.
apparently the old stables from the 1800s to the 19th century and you can see that it's all been well preserved so this is the jockeys area where they actually um, house jockeys to do some racing horse racing and basically a place where they can rest do their own thing so as what you see here behind me are all just old stuff here and it's all well preserved and as you can imagine these are what a vase that they used to you know clean themselves and wash themselves and look at this how well preserved they are and this is one of the costume or maybe not a costume but a uniform and as you can see the timber here on above me are old timber that is still here and well preserved. It's 1 a.m. I can't leave you now. There is no recovering. The history surrounding many of these colleges and shops is so fascinating. So if you are actually wanted to travel and learn about Australian culture, Australian history during the 1800s, then this place is so good and this place is also the best place for you and your family to learn about Australian culture and how they live and what it looks like to be living in this kind of dwellings, you know, the old timber cottage from the way back 17 to 1800s and of course take a walk into a nostalgic place this is a 28 acre of land this village is that they have horses and animals here as well I saw chicken and yeah there's plenty of stuff going on in here and the only thing that is more really interesting about this place is that you are transported to an old past and being able to be experienced this kind of it's just so weird it's just so nostalgic it's just a feeling that this was actually the old time lifestyle of people in Australia during the 1800s to the 1900th century. Your, your brother stole the bread. I gave him the bread. I wouldn't give him the bread that way. I said, no. Our caution is a turning
this is the old chimney. Wow, it's all made of gas iron. And my goodness, I don't know how they live like this before because they don't have any technology. So they might have just all these, but it's all manual. Like you have to fetch your woods, cut them off. And then all you have to do is just put it here. It's so manual. I don't know how I'm gonna live in those years. Wow. Nostalgic, isn't it? Guiding light, northern star, tethered home, pulls my heart, it carries me along. So I keep, keep, keep on. 